Mother's Day. Shout outs. Mother's Day. Shout outs. Mother's Day. Shout outs. <laughs> we have Mother Bates behind us. Yes. I removed all the knives in the house, however. They're not removed. They're just hidden for his safety. I hid them a long time ago. We got a couple of shout outs. The very first one is Thoughts and Prayers. We mentioned this yesterday. Um, Janet Johnson, who has been a long time community member of ours, um, has been very ill. And I mentioned yesterday that a friend of hers, um, who was 23 years old, passed away with the same illnesses that, that Janet has. But she asked us if we can send out thoughts and prayers to her friend and, and his family. His name was Justin. He was 23 years old. He was diabetic and he was fighting pancreatitis. And during the trip to um, the local hospital, his heart stopped and they had to land the helicopter um, at the nearest hospital and they were unable to revive him. Um, he leaves behind his wife and a two-year-old daughter and they held services for him today. So if everybody could please say a prayer and, and keep them in your thoughts and prayers, um, Justin and his wife and, and daughter and their entire family as well. We would greatly appreciate that. The purple ribbon represents pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer. It also represents lupus. I have a purple ribbon on my arm with my sister's name on it because she died in 2003 from, from pancreatitis as well. So Janet, I do know you are fighting pancreatitis and I know what it's like to have a family member um, pass away from that and our thoughts and prayers are with you every day and to Justin's family. Okay, um, Frankie Laverne, um, she's been gone for a little bit due to illnesses as well and we missed you. Welcome back and we hope everything is all well with you and I just want to give a shout out to a very special young girl. Um, she started vlogging because of us and she's at 80 subscribers right now and I would really really love it if we can get her to 100 subscribers and she has had a few different channels but her main channel is Lucy Owl and if you guys, I think she has 81 subscribers on that channel right now. If you guys that aren't subscribed to her, just go over and check out her channel. She does so many different things. She, she's done little skits and, and scary horror film, little films. And she dances to music and she just does a variety of things. And she is amazing. And she is very special to Kevin and I because she is married to Bones. <laughs> Who's in drag today, sorry. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. So, please go over and check it out. She also has another channel. Her other channel is called Lucy and Chloe Vlogs. Go check that channel out as well. But please, go check out both of them. Give them a thumbs up and subscribe. And, and show her some love and, and some support. My question yesterday was, um, what was your best New Year's resolution and did you ever, did you keep it? What was your New Year's, best New Year's resolution and did you keep it? Angie Lupus Life. I don't make New Year's resolutions. Why bother? Um, Tanya Longley. I would say the one that stands out for me, the first time I decided to fly to Michigan, which was where my sister lived first time ever flying, I vowed I would do it as a resolution, and she did do it. So, congratulations, Tanya. You're the first person so far that I've read, I haven't read all of these yet, that 
did, made a resolution and stuck to it. Greg Myers, my New Year's resolution is to grow my beard out for two years. I'm trying not to get too much Yu-Gi-Oh cards because I'm trying to save up a lot of money to get a new laptop. Well, Greg, how far have you gone with your beard? This is one of his blogs I saw. He has I know he's got it, but how long have you... Has it been two years? Has it been a year? Mm -hmm. How long has it been? Let us know. Okay. Crimson Fairy. I don't make New, year, new Year's resolutions. Why make a resolution just for the new year? I'm going to... If I'm going to change something, just do it. No need to wait. Jack Salmon. Making a New Year's resolution for me is always the same. Wanting to stop swearing. I go along fine. Then the news comes on. <laughs> Terry Johnson. I just don't set New Year's resolutions. Another one. Dougie Stiles. Years ago, I made a new... <laughs> okay, this one is the answer of the night. Okay, I, I really liked this one. And, and congratulations, Dougie, for sticking to your New Year's resolutions. Doug E. style. Years ago, I made a New Year's resolution not to make any New Year's resolutions, and I've kept it. So, congratulations. <laughs> Bambi S. agrees with Crimson Fairy. Why make a New Year's resolution? If you're going to make any changes, why wait? Do it then. Do it now. Don't wait. Jessica C.T., when I make a New Year's resolution, I tend to forget them the next day. So no, I don't really keep, keep any. But um, yes, we did have to tell the joke, the tall joke, in, in the, the credit roll. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Jess. You know what we're like, Jessica, come on! The Abyss, I never had a good New Year's, and I never kept them. So I, I, I don't know if he meant he New never... New Year's resolution. Yeah. So that's what I'm assuming he means. So that's all the New Year's resolutions um, answers that comments that I had. What about you? I I make no attempts to actually do that kind of thing. I discovered that when you want to make a change, you just you really have to wait for the right moment. You have to be in the right state of mind. You have to. You can't just you just try and force yourself to do it because it probably isn't going to happen. Uh, when I quit smoking. And everything had to be right for it to happen. I think you know what it's like. I mean, I had to be feeling a certain way. I had to have things going on well. It just had to be, this is the moment where the, the cosmos has said, uh, quit now. And uh, that's, that's basically what I did. Yeah. I mean, when I was younger, of course, you know, all your friends are making New Year's resolutions. You're going to make some New Year's resolutions, too. Did I keep any? Heck no. Um, I also want to say many, many people m wished um, Kevin's mom, Maureen McLean, Mom McLean, and myself a happy Mother's Day. And I want to say thank you very much from the both of us and wish all of you moms out there of babies of any sort, fur babies, reptilian babies, human babies, <laughs> I hope you guys all had a great Mother's Day. So, okay, my question, we answered it, right? Yes. My question for today is, what remedy for curing the common cold works best for you? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Oh, oh. Okay, so um, yesterday's question was about snakes on a plane. Yay! Samuel L. Jackson uh, from 2006. And the question was, what was the body count? And I love this question because uh, whoever did the counting counted everything that died, including snakes. And uh, apparently there was 31 people died, 29 snakes, one dog, and one cat. Okay, those who got it right was Terry Johnson, Greg Myers, Bambi S, Andy Lupus Life, and Tanya Longley. Yes. Yahoo! So tonight's question is about Elvira's Haunted Hills from Ooh. 2001. We met Elvira. So, the question is, uh, there's a name of a character, and the name is Allura. Where did that name come from? You 
know the answer to this one? Good. Uh, I want to change my name to Alora. Go ahead. I'm going to officially change my name to Alora. You guys are going to have to tell them what that word name comes from. Maybe she'll change her mind. Okay. <laughs> There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. I'm very, very hyper. I don't know why. <laughs> Too much sushi. I don't know. But you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, you're going to hurt yourself, and I'm going to hear all about it. You're going to be all cranky. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow!